If you want to get more customers, you have to spend more time identifying, more time targeting, and not just jumping straight into your business. Today, we're going to talk about the top five ways that you can get more customers so that way you can get more sales and walk away with more money. Number one, you have to identify your target customer. You have to understand who wants what you're selling the most. You got to be able to understand what is their gender, what is their age, what is their income, what is their buying behavior. See, most people have failed marketing because they're trying to sell to everybody. And if you sell to everybody, you'll sell to nobody. It's not until you have very clear, specific target messaging that you can give to a prospect where they'll hear exactly what you're saying and they'll feel like you'll talk exactly to them. Once they feel like you're talking to them, they're going to be much more inclined to make a purchase. Okay. Number two, you got to be able to understand where your target customer congregates. So in this first step, you were really just trying to focus on understanding your ideal customer like the back of your hand. You have to know how to complete their sentences. You have to know how they think. And not only do you need to know everything about them, you need to understand where they spend their time. Where could you find your target customer at? Where do they congregate? Are they a part of any clubs? Are they a part of organizations? Where do they go to church? What do they like to do? You need to understand where your target customer congregates both digitally and physically. So what social media platforms can you find them on? What websites do they like to frequent the most? If they're going to check out anything on the computer at all, where are they going to be going? And lastly, when it comes to their physical locations, where can you find them on the weekend? Where do they hang out once they get done with work? All of this is very important because if you're going to get more customers, you have to know where to find these people in order to be able to market and sell to these people so that way they can do business. Nobody is going to be putting your mon money in the pocket out of thin air. Nobody's going to be trying to, you know, fly out of the sky and find your business. You've got to be able to go to them. You've got to knock on doors, but you've got to knock on the right doors if you want to make sales. Number three, you've got to understand the needs of your ideal customer. Now, here's the problem. Most entrepreneurs, what they do is they start a business. They come out with all of these products that they want. But the problem is business is not about what you want. It's about fulfilling the needs of the customer. So you have to understand, okay, what problem am I solving of my target customer? What are some of the things that they would like to receive in order to solve their problem? I remember one time I was at this business forum and there was this guy that spent a lot of money building the smartphone app. You know, this was right when uh, mobile apps was the wave of the future. Everybody was coming out with an app and you saw all these different folks becoming millionaires and billionaires on creating an app. So he took his entire life savings and decided to put it into one app. But this was the problem. The app that he thought about was something that he thought was cool in his mind but nobody else that he was trying to sell that app to thought it was cool. So here it is. He had just drained his entire life savings on something that did not make one sale. What's the point? If you are too selfish in your business, nobody will be paying you. The goal of having a successful business is to understand the needs of the marketplace. And that's the reason why you got to know who your target customer is because two completely different communities of people have different needs. Imagine trying to sell something to a 20 year old and trying to sell something else to a 60 year old. 
they have two totally different needs. They have two totally different wants and ways of expressing their interests. They have two different perspectives on life, two different challenges, two different everything. So if you only try to take a product and market it the exact way to everybody, you are going to fail. I'm going to tell you this now. Stop trying to grow a business if that's your approach. You are going to fail. Number four, if you're going to go through these three steps, then and only then should you proceed to creating your product. Notice how I'm showing you from this illustration that actually creating the product doesn't start first. Again, this is what a lot of startup entrepreneurs get wrong. You know, I work with a lot of clients from all over the world and I'm always trying to help them grow their businesses because they got themselves into a hole of starting a business that made sense in their brain, but they created the product before ever surveying or ever getting involved with their target customers before they created the product. They didn't even have a target customer when I started work with, working with them. I asked them, who is it that you're going to be giving your products and services to? Oh, well, pretty much everybody. Okay, so, you know, are you going to be giving it to older people? Are you going to be giving it to younger people? Who are you targeting? Well, my product, you know, anybody can use my product, so I don't need a target market. Yes, you do. It doesn't matter if you're offering something that anybody can use. You have to have a profile of someone that would get the most use out of what it is that you're offering. Because you can find an anomaly out of any place. You know, even if you think about um, Pepsi Cola sodas, right? When Pepsi was really getting started, they started marketing very heavily to a lot of teenage customers. That's the reason why they had uh, the pipe sensation Michael Jackson doing concerts for Pepsi when they just got started. During Michael Jackson's heyday, he kind of was more of into that pop uh, audience. And so even though anybody, yes, could be drinking soda, you cannot give your product to everybody in terms of your marketing. If other people come outside of your target market, then that's fine. But you need to have one clear message that's for one specific type of person. And typically, if you're doing that, you got to stick to within pretty much about a 10 year age range. You know, if you try to go too far out and again, you're talking to everybody, one marketing message is not going to resonate the same as it would with another uh, audience of people. So I would not even start creating the product until you've identified your target customer, until you've identified where they congregate, until you've understood their needs, and then and only then after you've done your due diligence in those three areas, do you create the product. Lastly, in order for you to get more customers after you've done these four things effectively. See, you can just use this video as a roadmap to say, why am I not getting more customers? Am I not doing number one? Am I not doing number two? Have I skipped number three? I would say number three is the thing that most entrepreneurs skip because they wanna just get straight to the sale. They wanna get straight to uh, creating the product. And when you think in this short-term way of thinking, it ends up destroying your business from a long-term perspective. So once you've gone through the four steps, then that's when you do target marketing. You speak to the target customer in their language. You speak to the target customer where they hang out. You don't get selfish and just want them to come to where you are. You go find them. You then... Speak to them based upon the needs that they have. What problem is it that you can solve that's relevant for them? And how can you speak in a language that they can understand? What words do they use? How do they describe their problem? And then again, you're creating the product in the way that they want it. Because the best way that you're going to get more customers and more sales is by qualifying 
everybody that makes sense to be your customer and weeding out everybody else that doesn't connect with your product or your service. You will spend a lot of time, a hell of a lot of time, doing all of these Facebook advertisements, videos, promotions, business cards, flyers, whatever your means of promotion is, going to the wrong communities, trying to sell things that nobody wants. The best way for you to get more customers after you apply these four steps is to go directly to where your ideal customer is at, tell them directly how you can solve their specific needs, and then qualify who is the right person for what you have to offer. Do they match your criteria? Do they match your buying behavior? If you're selling a high-end product and only cheapskates are around, then guess what? You know you're not in the right market. If you're trying to sell a young person's product, and only old folks are around in the area that you're congregating, you know that you're in the wrong market. You've got to do target marketing, qualifying the right audience. And once you find that right person that matches your target profile, all you gotta do is look for clones. Find them again and again and again and again. And guess what? The hardest part is really finding that specific type of person once you find that person and you really satisfy their needs, everything becomes easier from there because once you find one of them, chances are they're going to give you clues about where to find people that are just like themselves. Okay, so if you want to know more about transitioning successfully out of your nine to five job into your very own full-time business where you will be your own boss, I want you to now click the card above. Click the card above. I'm going to take you um, into a free training video that I've put together far more extensive than this with a lot more value. And I'm going to show you all of the steps that you need to transition out of your nine to five job into your own business. If you don't see the card above, all you got to do is click the link below. Okay. Trust me. You don't want to miss out on that. I'll see you in the next video. Leave me a comment. Tell me maybe what's one of your top challenges when it comes to getting more customers. As you're looking at this list, I want you to identify what is the number one area out of these five things that you find yourself having the most difficulty with. Send me a comment and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.